Good morning, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube. This is my second attempt at this intro because I had realised that I had dropped the video quality down to a lot lower than what it actually is because I plan on doing some face cam with Teletech later on. But my eye is getting a lot better. Annoyingly, I still can't see out it properly, I'm st still pretty much blind. And well, I'm going to be doing a video with Rose today, we're going to go up to the town centre and I'm going to get myself a watch. I don't really need one, but I ended up getting Natalie a watch for her Christmas and stuff like that and it came yesterday along with a mum necklace that I'd got her. And I'm also wearing this t-shirt today. It keeps the heat in and lets all the sweat out, so that's a plus. But Rose is just getting her hair done now, so right now I'm just watching different YouTube videos like when people are when people are going into like rivers and all that stuff and finding stuff, I was like, that's so cool. I'd like to be able to do that one day. I might actually do it at some point. I, mm, do I need to brush your hair? Nah, I bugger it. We'll just stick a hat on. That hides the hair. Now, I'm also going to be shaving tonight as well because it's starting to irritate me. One day I will grow a proper beard, but for now it's not going to happen. And sorry if my eyes go a bit wonky. I'll be wearing my, glassy, my sunglasses anyway, so you won't be able to see. But I was going to use my proper camera for this video today, but the only problem is I can't bloody find it. I mean, in this drawer, I've got the first camera I started doing this YouTube channel with, which is basically just a normal camcorder with basically no battery in it. You can see up there, the battery's red. And then I've got... My old camera, I was vlog technically my first vlogging camera on this channel because I think that's when I was using on this channel just before I started this one and this is the main one I use because like, I don't want to use something like this, I want to use something more like this and then well I went to the other one but the screen flipped up because I was like I, I don't want to get a DSLR because it's going to be too bulky and all the rest of it but I do plan on getting one eventually. This is well, my car insurance not has been paid for, so yeah, got to have car insurance first. Don't get car insurance, you can't work, so I'm kind of screwed that way. But yeah, and well, Rosie's money is in there, and in a bank down there, and I've got my money in there, and all my other change in there. Let's say change, it's God knows what body money's in it, but. Just went on Rosie now and then, oh and that also because I ended up going out on uh, Friday and I had a couple of drinks with Rocco and stuff like that, I didn't record anything like that because well, I just couldn't be bored but I'd lost my house key and I actually found it on the edge of my bed underneath my covers so yeah I've probably been scratching my feet against it for a couple of days now oh. A penny. Now the reason I actually got this bank is because if you can see right on there it does show how much is in it but the computer parts are kind of broke so for some strange reason it never counts it like one pence is counted as 20 pence, 20 pence is counted as like a pound and 50 pence is a class as two pounds, it's dead annoying. But, what can you do? But, I'm going to see if she's ready now. Are you? Hurry up. <laughs> Are, you Are you recording? No. What are you saying? I've got my water here. Aye, let's go get a bottle of water. Make it quick, it's freezing it here as well. On the plus side. Oh, Christ. The sun's out. No the downside is, I just realised how bogging my phone screen is. <laughs> you don't really notice it until the sun starts shining on it you actually get to see all of the mess that's been left round the side of my house as well to things. Yeah, I'm doing a video today. Okay. But look at the state of all of this mess that's just been left here. All of this rubbish and glorious 2K quality. At least that, if as long as I remember to actually do it in 2K, but it's a complete joke. And then there's a wee car that's apparently got a lot of frost on it, but oh well. Right. Oh, 
There's always a bit of frozen solid there. Right, get in. In, seat well on. Just dump that other jacket there. And then we'll get ready to go up to Asda. No, no not Asda, town centre. It's just a wee bit cold today. Zero degrees. Oh, I'm going to hate to hear it. Yep, I'm going to hate to hear how this car sounds when it turns on because I've got slight brake problems now as well, so... Oh, right. No, CD off. Just for a second. Right, let's turn it on. So, what CD then? Red Sheeran one. Yay! Right, so, good. Check engine light isn't on, but that'll probably come on because I'm going to fill up the car before we do anything else. So, yeah, let's go. Right, so now I've got the sunglasses on there. I've got the fogged up all you because I left them in the car and stuff like that, but that whole back window is all frozen. I've got the fan thingy on there now just to try and defrost that, but Christ, it's cold today. Oh, the joys of it still technically being winter and technically we've not had our winter yet because in, well, this part of Scotland anyway, up in the top of Scotland you get winter from just say November to March or whatever, you can snow through all that time, but usually down here you get snow from sometimes you'll get, get it in November, December if you're very lucky, and then you'll mostly get it January, February time when the snow will just constantly come. But I don't know if you'll see that, but it is slowly going away. Get a quick thingy, right. Another wee minute of that and then we'll be sorted, but I'm going to go fill up the car first because uh, maybe we car need a drink. I can still do 111 miles, but I don't like the tank getting too low. And, well, because of the brakes and that stuff, the brakes are hopefully going to get sorted next week, so I'm going to take it down to Paul's next week to get that sorted. Right, good. No sticking there, and hopefully the yeah, image stabilisation's on, this is going to work because I'm currently shivering. Yeah, that one's stuck a wee bit, but can't really complain. Right, so check the back window now. Ah, it's clear enough. Turn that off, turn that down, and then let's go and fill up the car. Right, so so far we're in luck because I've done 0 0.2 miles since I filled up, and no check engine light, and that's just from being from here. To, let's see if we can see it right there where that sign is. But yeah. Right, so we're now in the town centre. We're currently walking through dungeons and stuff like that. My hands, even though it doesn't look at our red raw, absolutely knackered. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what she was trying to plan there, but it failed anyway. Right now, I'm just, I still got my sunglasses on because my eyes are really sore, but I think we're going to be going into the entertainer place first, because Rose wants to get some Hatchimals, or whatever the hell they're called, so we'll take a wee pop in there first. Actually, we won't be because it's shut. <laughs> we didn't even notice it was even shut there. A lot of places do shut early on a Sunday, but I didn't expect a toy shop to shut on a Sunday, but what can you do? We can always check Argos. Yeah. I don't know if we'll do it in Argos, but we can always check anyway. But uh, yeah, let's get going. This town centre is getting more beyond a joke every time I come up. Now, I think three shops opened up since last year I was up here. There's been like a Peacocks and stuff like that brought over here. But the only downside is that pretty much everything. Peacocks has been there for ages. Yeah, but I'm never up here. But the only problem is that everything is either now shutting down or got like 70% off because they need to sell their stock because no one comes up to buy anything. But right now we're just heading into the old part of the town centre. So yeah, I'll, I'll stop with every time someone maybe comes past or something like that because a lot of people don't really like the idea of being on camera. I got a little bit just walked through there. She went through a different door to avoid being on camera. But, yeah, I've actually got with the on rows that, well, oh, Argos might be shut, <laughs> which means you might end up being a bit kind of screwed. But, you never know. And, well, the other reason I'm actually wearing these as well, not just because my eyes are a bit iffy, 
if I can, if people can see my eyes, then it makes it a lot easier for me to record. Now, someone Rose's age, she can easily just pick up the camera, record, and do whatever she wants because she's a win. But people my age and all the rest of it, they do get some funny looks when they're walking about either with a phone or a camera in their hand and they're talking to it. Granted, I could easily just say that I'm maybe on a Skype call or something like that, but as soon as they see the screen, they'll realise that that Skype call is a lie. And I've got a weird feeling that, well, I was going to shut because everything else over here is completely shut. Yep. Reflections. It's not actually, when I said reflections, I realised it's actually a place called Reflection. I think it's a dance club or something like that, but that's uh, opticians. Which, I'll be back in again on Wednesday for my eye. No doubt say that's the second gel stuff that they gave me I lost. I think I used it once and I lost it, but I've got my other one that's a dropper one, so that's not as bad, so... Yeah. Oh, I mean, there's a bit of door over there. I think it's supposed to get turned into a gym or something. The sooner it opens, the better, because I'll join it, because I think it's only like £10 a month or something like that. But, now to see if our glass is even open. Go on. And, I believe, yes, we are in luck. Our glass is actually opened. Comfy chairs that no one uses. <laughs> A bush baby. Right. So, what one? Because there's like, Three different things there. And um, it's that one that they all look. Oh, that one there is twelve ninety nine. That one's twenty pound. I don't know what that one is. Wait a second. Or. Wait a second. Right. So we're just done in Argos and stuff like that. Rose got. Baby. Something called a, oh, a bush baby thing. If you want, you can open this wrapper thing up. There you go. And you can show what you got. This is what you got with your pennies. And your pennies. <laughs> yeah, three pounds of my pennies. So. And there's a little leaf door back here. Right, so it can shut and stuff like that. <laughs> so. So is that going to ever tell you cut on to then? What do you do with that? Uh, okay. It may, I don't know. I don't know how you work it. Look. And I'll show you how to do it. You stick your finger in there and move it about. Right, so you stick your finger in the back of its head to move it about. I thought, it was, I thought it was supposed to be like automated or something like that. But... The thing I got is in here, so what uh, is it? a watch. Ooh. I need to f right. <laughs> Not exactly the best angle, but it shall do. It's the first things first. A wee booklet thing. It says two year international watch guarantee, so I'm better keeping a hold of that just in case. And then a big box that was upside down. So, no bad wee design on the front of it. Hopefully, you can read all that. Honolulu, Hawaii. Right, so I think. Fine. Open it up. Come on. And, okay, so the watch is a bit bigger than I thought it was going to be. But, there's a the watch there. And I thought it was actually moving there, but it's not. And then it comes with like a wee cushion thing, so that's quite cool. So you can put it on So there. I'll stick that there for a second, and then and it comes with three wee disbandy things as well. But I'll be dealing with all that when I get back in the house and stuff. So that's when we get nice. Yeah. Because what we'll do is we'll head back in the house and show you the after that left your phone. <laughs> Stick all of that back in the box, you know. Oh. Watch it that way and think not cool. Right, so. You got Nina? You got Nina? Yeah. 
Like that is supposed to be in your pocket. Because it turns out she's actually got a couple of the old pound coins in. And I don't think most people will accept them anymore, so I'm going to replace her pound or her old pound coins with some of my newish ones. Right, give me that minute, I'm going to stick it in my pocket because you're going to lose it. Right, so now we'll head down to the Grand Line Centre again and see if we can get her something to eat. Go to Greg or something like that, I don't even know if it's going to be opened. I've just got a few funny old kids back there, but on the plus side, this place is pretty empty, so. It's a lot easier to do this. What? Oh, and did you eat all the toast this time? Because I made you three bits of toast yesterday and half of it went in the bin. Did yeah. that day? <coughs> but, yeah, so we'll see if it's even open. Right, so I just need to watch what I'm recording now because there's currently a lot of wins about. But we went to the head over to Argos. No, not Argos. Greg's and it's actually bloody shut, so. I'm just going to take a Robert Azz and get her a sandwich or something like that. I'll get myself a sandwich as well, I think. And then, yeah, head back down the road because she wants to play the far wee bush baby thing and she also needs to get her phone before uh, 4 o'clock. I don't know what time it is in two seconds. Right, just ignore the dangling wire for a second. Now, I just had another quick look at uh, the top of it. Actually, a f now, I have no idea. I think this is all the Hawaiian Islands that's actually on it as well. Show that for a second so you can focus on it. I think that's all the wee Hawaiian Islands. I don't know what time it is or nothing like that. But, yeah, like a cool wee cushion, a pillow thing. With it as well, I'm going to stick a watch on in there. Mainly because I've, I've had many watches and stuff like that, but none of them have ever fitted me properly and stuff. They've always irritated my skin or something like that. But yeah, uh right, two seconds. Right, so one slight problem I might have with this watch. I don't know if you'll be able to hear it but I'll try and enhance the audio at this point at this point. I can hear a tick and how I sleep, I basically sleep like that. So I'm going to have that ticking in my ear the whole time, but I'm not going to complain. I mean, worst comes to worst, if I end up, as long as the strap can hold and stuff like that, I could always replace the watch head at some point. And as long as Rose starts brushing her teeth when she's not with me, for her birthday I might buy her a waterproof watch. Because waterproof watches are expensive. So if, as long as you brush your teeth, notice how she hides now. As long as she brushes her teeth, I will get her the watch. Now, my watch cost me tw twenty pound. I I didn't even want to spend that on a watch, but I figured that I would have to maybe spend a wee bit extra on a watch because you can get watches for like stupid amounts, like five six hundred pound or less. It. Who's going to be stupid enough to spend that on a watch? I mean, it tells the time, that's it. I don't really know anybody know. But, we'll get ahead into Asda now, so... Yeah, it's time to get food. And then, get her into the house so she can play with her bush baby for a bit. And get her phone, and then, we'll be taking her over the road. And then, I'm going to... I may end up ending this, and I'll get some terror tech done. Because I don't want to get the video clips mixed up and stuff. You know, probably would be that easy to get mixed up. But my eye is clearing up quite a bit, I don't know if you can actually see. But yeah, that's a plus. Rose just pointed out something funny that every single time that me and Hart are out in the car, stupid things happen. Like we we're just walking across the road there and there was a woman driving a car, quite an old woman I'd say, and she was more she was paying more attention to the German Shepherd in her passenger seat than she was to the actual road, like what natural hell. But let's see what sandwiches we can get you right. So far, the watch is actually quite comfy. Granted, it's a little strap, so it'll take a wee bit of wear and tear to get it to fit properly, but I'm happy with it. Right, pick sandwiches. Eh, uh, they don't even, even have yours, do they? Do you like tuna? So picky! Oh god, copyright music. 
Right, so monsters here. So right, if you take my sandwiches as well, she's that picky that she wouldn't eat anything. So we've both got chicken and bacon. Because usually I'd get her smoked ham or something like that, but I didn't even have any. So I think I'll get the eight pack of monsters. That means I can do my editing and all that stuff tonight as well without feeling too drained. I was just gonna get one can, but it's like a pound a can or seven ninety for eight. You know, technically I could get 24 for that price if I went to Costco, but I'm both driving to Glasgow, so bugger that. Right, did you see that one? Yeah. Right, so it's time for Rose to go home, and then I'm going to be jumping back up to Asda again to get gas in Lakey, because this is currently on the emergency for uh, Lakey, and got no gas at all. And then Bush Baby and its wee Heidi House thing. But we're better going to now because we've got it's one minute. And it's minus, well, it's minus 0. 0.5 degrees now, so it's a bit cold. <laughs> right, let's go. Right, let's see if you can hear this. This is my break right now. I'll try and enhance that audio as well. My break is gubbed. I think it's actually. Oh! Uh, disc has worn away and it's actually just the other metal that's getting against it but it's currently minus one degrees it was actually minus 1.5 of a minute or two ago so it's going to be a cold night tonight but anyways hopefully you enjoyed this guys if you did remember to leave a like comment and subscribe to come religion today and as always goodbye for now